Okay, I got a, I got a good joke for you. Okay. Okay. Um, how do you fix a broken tuba? Uh, I don't know. How? With a tuba glue. <laughs> ah! Wow. Wow. Ah! <laughs> well, I'm glad you're entertained. Uh, that's a really good one. I it, love it, that's that. That's a one. groaner. That's a groaner. That's a uh, which which is a compliment. That's oh, good. that's good. good. Yeah. I love it. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. I'm Jen. Oh, and I'm Calliope. We are going to tell you about the lowest instrument in the brass quintet. Mhm. Mm the bass trombone. <laughs> this is a bass trombone, and here's what it sounds like. Ooh. Whoa, it is so low. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Did you notice how the bass trombone is much bigger than the trumpet? Remember how <gasps> the trumpet is the highest instrument in our brass family? Mm -hmm. So, you can see that this is much bigger than that one, right? Yeah, much bigger. So the bigger the instrument, the lower the sound. And the smaller the instrument, the higher the sound. Oh, I see. Oh, but wait a second. The bass trombone looks just like that trombone that Sarah showed us. Why is yours lower? <gasps> do you have, do you have superpowers? Do you have a secret superpower to make your <laughs> instrument lower? How do you do it? Tell me everything. You know, I wish that I had superpowers, mm -hmm. but I don't. Ah. But my trombone kind of has a superpower compared to Sarah's trombone. Let's bring Sarah's trombone here and we'll show you. Huh. So my trombone's superpower, which really isn't an actual superpower, mm -hmm. is that you see all this extra tubing that it has? that mm -hmm. Sarah's doesn't have. Mm -hmm. And you see how hers has one mm -hmm. valve. Mine has two valves. This makes my instrument able to be bigger. And being bigger means that my instrument can play lower than her instrument can <gasps> play. Bigger makes it lower. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, so the bass trombone is the biggest and lowest instrument in the brass family. The bass trombone is the biggest and lowest in our brass quintet, <sighs> but it's actually not the only big and low brass instrument. There's actually another instrument that's a cousin of the bass trombone that oh. also plays as low as the bass trombone. But instead of having a slide, like my trombone has, it has valves, more like the horn or like the trumpets. Is it really big? It's really big. <gasps> show me, oh please show me, I gotta see it, I gotta okay. see it. Oh, where is it, where is it? Ah, here it is. This is called a tuba. Oh. And this is what it sounds like. I think you could too, but I think it would be really loud to be inside of there. I'm stuck. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, thanks, Jen. You saved me. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, it sounds a lot like the bass trombone. Yeah, the tuba and the bass trombone play a lot of the same low notes. Mm. It's just that one uses the slide, like I showed you. And this one uses valves like this. <laughs> Can you play some more? Yeah, absolutely. That's my new favorite song. It was a really good song, wasn't it? I'm gonna walk down the aisle to that song. <laughs> Excellent. Now that you know all about the instruments we are bringing with us when we visit, there's one more very important thing we have to talk about. All the musicians in Calliope Brass are amazing at playing music, but we need your help. Our show is all about bringing stories to life with music and, well, uh, We've done the same old stories so many times, like the 
I gotta be honest, I'm getting kind of bored of telling the same ones over and over and over. And I was thinking, you guys are writers, and you read books, and you tell stories all the time. I think that you should send us some of your stories. And I bet I could get the quintet to put them into the show. What do you say? If you're up to the challenge, talk to your teacher and they will give you all the details on how to get your stories to me. Can't wait to see you soon.